people learning. Nowadays, I feel that people are socially isolated due to this technology. So first, what do you think about technology? Technology like smartphones and social media are very important in our lives as it deals with our everyday dynamic things. But it is only to share our information, facts, ideas, opinion and thoughts to the people directly. But do you think we use technology only for this? Not at all. We use technology only for our entertainment and just say that it is for a relaxation, right? But actually, we all get addicted to smartphones and social media. Do you think getting addicted to technology like smartphones and social media does not affect us mentally? Yes, of course. It does contribute to more mental illness in general. It also contributes to the feeling of isolation. If that feeling of loneliness persists, it can have a very dangerous effects on our physical, mental and also emotional health. Some experts believe that loneliness is as physically dangerous as obesity or smoking. It has also been linked to heart disease, diabetes and even early death. Even experts also believe that having constant access to technology, specifically to smartphones, can prevent us from making personal connections. They have also confirmed that too much of social media usage can cause an emotional harm. A 2017 study found that heavy social media users were three times more likely to feel socially isolated than casual users. Social media also make people feel like that they are missing out on meaningful social events, leading to feelings of exclusion, stress and insecurity. But I don't mean that technology is not useful or it is not important. Of course, technology use is useful in many different ways. But it is also harmful or dangerous only when we overuse it. It causes teenagers to be anxious and depressed, which has increased the suicide rates and has led to more mental health interventions like medicines and counseling. I am not conveying all these just because to make you afraid, but it's a fact. Have we taken any steps to prevent this? Of course, yes. Many nations have declared a loneliness epidemic as it burdens their healthcare systems, lowers productivity, and diminishes overall quality of life. One study reported that some people feel that they don't have any meaningful personal connections. The United Kingdom's loneliness problem became so prevalent that they created the Ministry of Loneliness to handle the problem. Other nations like China and Japan are also dealing with widespread social isolation. But we should not think that this cannot be controlled. This can also be solved while no one is relying on technology to meet all of our social needs. This can be a great starting point to more fulfilling connections. First of all, balanced social media usage can help combat loneliness, especially in the populations that have hard time meeting people face to face. Finally, I would like to convey that try to maintain a healthy balance between technology and developing personal connections. No matter who you are or where you are from, those connections can make a big difference. Let's all join our hands to make our future into a safe and happy one. I hope that you would have known few information and facts about technology and how does it affect us mentally through me. And I also hope that you would be controlled in using technology from next time onwards. Thank you.